loves apple. Apple rolls! Costco special HP computer here. It's uh, about five, six years old. I uh, bought it for about 50 bucks. Came with a nice monitor and keyboard. You can see here. Decent quality. It uh, didn't run Windows so well. It had Windows 7 on it to begin with. And it was very slow. So I put Ubuntu on it. And it was great for, you know, browsing the web and reading email and stuff. But lately I've been trying to do some video editing. And I've been doing it all on my LG V20. It actually works pretty decent. It's quick, easy to do, but not real advanced. Can't do any, you know, real special advanced kind of stuff with it. I need something a little more powerful. So I went out and bought a few things. I got an AMD FX6300. It's a six core, 3.5 gigahertz. So there's the CPU. And a little sticker to put on the case. 500 watt uh, power supply, giving me a little extra juice to run that CPU in this new motherboard. One in there is only 250. Plus, this will give me the ability later on to upgrade and you know add a graphics card and an ASUS motherboard. This was like 60 bucks, and it comes with this. And of course, some memory. This memory is actually rated at a higher megahertz than the than the motherboard can handle, but. Um, it should be a, able to underclock just fine. The HP case and the old motherboard. There's a 500 gig hard drive. Like I said, I'll probably add a SSD drive eventually. And it has a CD burner, which is, I find useful. I still use them. I still make my own MP3 discs and ins installation discs and things like that. I already pulled the power supply out of there. I'm already starting to clean it up a little bit. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking bigger is better. What are you thinking, AMD? It's tiny. Thanks, HP. I ran into a few problems here. Um, I put too much thermal grease on, so I had to clean that up a little bit. Use one of these uh, zip ties to get in between the fins on the heat sink to clean it out. I apparently don't know how this goes together, so I'm screwing around with it and forgetting that there's a whole other connector. With it. And I've got a screw I can't get my fat fingers to squeeze in there and put it in place. And my Phone's running out of batteries, so I had to plug it in and scoot it closer to an outlet so you can see more of my wall over. panel plug or front panel plug and this connector connected to perfectly over there does not match the front
front panel plug on the new motherboard. There we go. There's my jerry-rigged connections. I had to move the uh, power LED connectors over to some different ports so that I could plug it in. And then the power, the red and black there, the power button, I had to completely remove from the old connector and just kind of plug them in directly. Put some electrical tape around them to around that one to keep it from shorting out. I might put a little more piece of another piece of electrical tape around it to hold it in place. So the moment of truth. Did it turn on? Power's on. Is the screen gonna turn on? Come on screen, turn on. Ta-da! It's up and running. Clearly the fan is a bit noisy. I'll have to figure out what to do about that. But we have success. We'll see how it works over time.